listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us for another segment. We're going to be speaking with Dr. Carlos Martinez. He's joining us from the Eye Physicians of Long Beach to talk about cataracts. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Martinez, and thank you so much for taking the time. Good morning, Neil. Thank you for inviting me. Give our listeners a bit of your professional background. Talk about your area of expertise and your role there at the Eye Physicians of Long Beach, if you would. So I am the medical director at Eye Physicians of Long Beach. It's a practice that's been, that has been around for about 43 years, and I'm proud of it. Um, we have led the way in most uh, developments in ophthalmology in the community and the area. I uh, did medical school in New Orleans, um, got a degree, a master's degree in theoretical chemical physics, and went on to get, do my internship in internal medicine and then did four years of ophthalmology at the LSU Eye Center. Um, I have been doing cataract surgery for almost 25 years. June is, is Cataract Awareness Month. Can you tell us what cataracts are and who's at risk, doctor? Cataracts are a cloudiness that happens mostly as a function of age of the lens. And the lens is the the part of the eye that makes images clear for you. So if you have cataracts, which are the result of of degradation of proteins inside the lens, then your lens starts to get cloudy. It accumulates pigments. And that accumulation of of cloudiness and pigment results in degradation of vision. So when you start to drive at night, you start to get halos and glare, difficulty seeing street signs, um, and that eventually translates into the inability to drive at night, and then that that goes on for the rest of the day. Colors will not look as vivid. It looks basically like looking through frosted glass and eventually affects all areas of your living. What are some of the treatment options that are available? Cataract surgery has come a long way. Um, And if you look at history, initially they would do couching where you just push on the lens and move the lens out of the way because they had no other options. Thank God we don't live through that era. Nowadays, we can actually use a very small tip of ultrasound and remove a cataract. We can even do a femtosecond-assisted cataract surgery, which is laser-assisted cataract surgery. The procedure takes about 10 to 15 minutes. There's usually no needles and no pain associated with it. And the recovery is very fast. So usually you have your 10 to 15-minute surgery. And by the next day, you can see better. But certainly by a week, uh, most people have recovered. Are cataracts easily diagnosed or are they sometimes misdiagnosed as some other type of uh, eye disorder? So a healthcare professional will be pretty good about um, accurately diagnosing cataracts. But patients sometimes think that the decrease in vision is just a function of age. The truth is that your eyes hold up pretty good in the absence of disease as as you get older. So if you're having difficulty seeing, there's probably a reason for it. It may not be cataract, it may be glaucoma, it may be macular degeneration, but most of the time it is a cataract and it's reversible. Cataracts are the leading cause of blindness in the world and is a reversible cause of blindness, which means you don't have to live with a cataract, you can actually have it fixed. So patients need to know that if your vision is getting worse, don't say, oh, I'm just getting older. You may have a cataract, and if you go and be seen, you might be able to fix it and make your life better. Some of the symptoms that you described, are are these symptoms that present in a very gradual form, or do they happen all at once to prompt someone to seek care immediately? Great point, Neil. That's very important to have the audience know that. Cataracts are very slowly progressive. So the same way that you may sit in a room with a, uh, an odor that you don't like and you get used to it, same thing happens to your senses. So you may develop such a slow cataract, you don't realize the degradation in vision. And in fact, when we do cataract surgery on a patient in, in the first eye, and we always do one eye at a time, patients are amazed at how much better they can see. The good eye that they thought was a good eye is no longer a good eye, and they realize how much better life could be. So it's important for patients to know that because it progresses so slowly, they may not realize that change is happening. Mm -hmm. Are cataracts something in this early development that the vision can be 
corrected temporarily by some of those over the counter readers that you might find at the uh, at the corner drugstore in a, a supermarket. Uh, lots of people use those. Is that something that sometimes contributes to not seeking care early enough? Cataracts usually initially will cause what's called a myopic shift. As the cataract becomes denser, it makes you more nearsighted. So it may actually give you the, the sensation that you're seeing better up close early on, but your distance vision is, is slowly getting worse. So if you notice that, if you notice that your up close vision is getting better, but your distance is getting worse, that's probably the formation of a cataract. But most patients can navigate through early cataract formation. It doesn't impact vision very much initially. Midway, they tend to compensate. Many stop driving at night. They think, oh, I just, I just don't feel comfortable driving at night. And they don't realize is that, that there's a cataract forming. Uh, so people tend to navigate through it initially. Eventually, it comes to a place that you can't anymore. And, and the most important thing for the audience to understand is that when cataracts get to a, a very dense stage, they become more difficult to, to remove. So removing a cataract at a later stage is more difficult than removing it early on. Well, even prior to the pandemic, we were hearing about disparities in different aspects of healthcare. But uh, as a result of the pandemic, we've been hearing a lot about disparities in healthcare in different communities. Is there a disparity that exists in um, eye care overall or cataract uh, awareness in general? There is definitely a disparity. There's a disparity in accessibility of services and also patients' willingness to entertain uh, medical treatment. Uh, Latinos, um, African American patients, um, in general, have a, a lower proximity to medical services. Services tend to be less available, and many times um, they tend to be not as trusting of the system. So when I see one of my Hispanic patients, many times they have been to doctors who don't speak Spanish, and their services get translated. And when the services get translated, there's something lost in the patient-doctor relationship. So they tend not to trust the system quite as much, and they, they tend to delay um, treatment for cataracts. And by the time they come in, cataracts are usually much denser and much more difficult to treat. There might be also some genetic factors, a higher risk of diabetes, and all of these patients, unfortunately, have a much higher risk of developing cataracts, and they develop cataracts at a much earlier age. So making uh, everyone, but especially this population, aware of the development of cataracts, what they do, and how easily treated they are is an essential thing for us healthcare providers and for people like you, Neil, um, in, in communication. It's, it's, an ex it's a great service you're providing to your audience. Well, I did mention earlier in our conversation that June is Cataract Awareness Month. Give our listeners a website, if you would, where we can learn more about cataracts. Yes, uh, there are two great sites that you can go to, mycataracts.com, M-Y-C-A-T-A-R-A-C-T-S.com, and vividview.com, V-I-V-I-T-Y, V-I-E-W-S.com. These are two great websites. They're informational websites. They'll help you understand what cataracts do. They'll also help you understand probably the greatest development in cataract surgery in the last 20 years, which is the development of presbyopic correcting lenses, lenses that allow you to see not just distant, but distant, intermediate, and up close after cataract surgery. So many times after cataract surgery, you can actually throw away your glasses. The, the, the results are just amazing. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on the program. Hopefully, we'll uh, have another conversation and talk more about uh, eye care and cataracts. Thank you so much for joining us on the program, Dr. Carlos Martinez. Thank you, Neil. I look forward to it. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes or listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com health professional radio.